Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with my Black Friday fragrance net haul. So I'm just gonna jump right in. Um, I do have a couple here, uh, one that I picked up from Sephora and one that I picked up from Ulta that I'm gonna leave for the very end. Um, I'm just gonna include them so that one of them I do wanna talk about. Um, so anyways, let's jump into what I got from FragranceNet. I did good this time. Um, I bought mostly travel sprays and um, I don't think there's anything in here that I like really hate and I can't wait to give these all a good wear test. Um, the first thing I picked up though is somebody recommended to me that I pick this up. This is the fancy lotion from Jessica Simpson. This is the body lotion and somebody told me that this was really, really good. Oh my goodness, it is so good. It smells like fancy, the perfume in the bottle, but then of course when you get it on your skin and it you know, starts working with your skin chemistry, it smells amazing. This one smells, it smells so good on me. So I am so excited to start digging into this and wearing it. Um, I think it's gonna be such a beautiful lotion to layer a whole bunch of fragrances over. It was like $9 too, so it was not bad. Um, yeah, I'm so excited about that. So that's the first thing I picked up. That is the uh, Jessica Simpson Fancy Body Lotion. Thank you to the person who recommended I pick that up. Um, okay, let's talk about the full bottles I picked up. I picked up two full bottles. I was really good. The first one I picked up is a Britney Spears fragrance. This is called Festive from Britney Spears. And it's pretty much a given that I've only come across one Britney Spears fragrance ever that I didn't like, and that was Hidden Fantasy. It's pretty much a given that I, that I can just blind buy Britney Spears fragrances and I'm going to like them. This is no exception. Oh my gosh, do I love this fragrance. I haven't even looked up the notes on this, so um, I'm just gonna have to give you my impressions because I have no idea what's actually in this. Oh my gosh, it is so good though. I feel like I smell coconut. Yeah, I feel like I smell coconut or something creamy. I definitely smell coconut. There's coconut, there's something juicy in the top. It almost smells like a pineapple coconut daiquiri or something. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like pineapple and coconut. It's creamy, it's fruity. It's super fun. I'm actually gonna spray this on one on my hand because I have not. Well, I haven't tested any of these on my skin yet. I just opened the package and I just sprayed it, you know, sprayed them all on tester strips. Um, oh gosh, it's good. Yeah, I swear I smell pineapple. It smells like pineapple and coconut. It's so good. It's sugary. It's really sugary and sweet. Like it smells like it has a, some kind of a sugar note in it, like sugar cane or it almost smells, it has that kind of Smarties smell to it or like sweet tart smell. And the more that it sits on my skin, the better it is getting. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love this. I'm almost getting Michelle Germain sugarful vibes, but... but it's got something a little bit creamier in it. Oh my gosh, I am so happy I picked this up. I think I paid like $11 for it too, and it is so good. Oh, it's so good. I love this so much. I knew I loved it just from spraying it on the tester, but now that I'm spraying it on my skin, holy cow. So, so good, you guys. I'll give this a good full wear test and it'll pop up in a what I wore last week video. So anyways, that is the first one that I picked up. And that is Britney Spears Festive Fantasy. That is such a huge winner. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, and then the next full bottle I picked up is one that I have been meaning to pick up for literal ages. Like I've had, and there are so many from this house that I want. Um, I've heard such good things. I've read such good things about so many of them. And I just, I've been... I don't know, hesitant to pick them up, but I finally picked this one up. This is called Delicious Cotton Candy, and this is from Gail Heyman. Um, there's, I think it's the bottles that have turned me off. I've realized that you just cannot judge things by, I mean, it's like you can't judge a book by its cover. You can't judge a perfume by its bottle. Um, 
A lot of people complain about how this lid smells. It just smells like plastic to me. I mean, it's like no worse than the Ariana Grande cloud. It's like definitely not even near as bad as that cloud from the Ariana Grande cloud. It just smells like rubber. It's not that bad, but some people say it's really, really bad. Um, this to me smells... Uh, I'm gonna, this is another one. I'm going to spray this on my hand because it's hard for me to gauge it from that tester strip. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, that Britney Spears. Oh, it's so good. It's nothing. The Britney Spears is nothing groundbreaking. I don't want it to seem like it's, you know, anything magical. It's magical to my nose because I love these kinds, these kind of sweet, sugary smelling perfumes but I love it. Okay, this one. Ooh, delicious cotton candy. Oh, I love this. I thought it was going to smell like a pink sugar. It doesn't. And then I thought it was maybe going to smell like Michelle Germain sugarful. It smells more like sugarful, but there's something in it. Ooh, I really, really, really like this. Um, it's sugary, but there's something very distinct in it. I want to say it's a flower. It's some kind of a very distinct flower that is not overly floral smelling, but it's definitely there, and it's not as sugary as you would think. It's very warm smelling and it does smell like sugar, but it almost smells like a warm sugar. It's not like a tart sugar. It's not like a candy smelling sugar. It's like a warm smelling sugar. I'm really, I like it. Oh my gosh, I like it a lot. It's totally different from like the Britney Spears. It's not tart. It doesn't have a fruitiness to it. Yeah, it's not fruity. It's, um... Oh, it's like this beautiful warm sugar with some kind of a distinct flower that doesn't smell overly floral, if that makes any sense. Anyways, it's beautiful. I'm really liking this one. That is a definite winner. Now I feel more confident picking up more from this house. So anyways, that is Delicious Cotton Candy from Gail Heyman. I'll give you a good close-up of this bottle. <laughs> The bottles are definitely something, yeah, I mean, they're definitely like, I don't know. They're not horrible. I love, I mean, I love animals though, so I'm not, I'm not sad to have a really, I'm not sad to have an animal on there. Okay, next I have a huge bag. You can see all of these testers that are, well, decants that I have in here, atomizers, I should say. So the first one I picked up is Boucheron, Boucheron, wow, Boucheron Quatre en Rose Floral. This is an EDP. This is the one that comes in the pink bottle. I will pop up a picture for you so you guys can see what the actual perfume looks like. Um, this is the only one that I was like, mm -hmm, I might not like this one. Oh, but then I do like it. It smells like something else. It smells expensive. It smells very expensive to me. It smells like something else that I've smelled that is a very expensive niche fragrance. Yeah, it's a little bit on the mature side. Um, it's a beautiful rose, beautiful rose. It's a more green rose. It's got some kind of a spice or yeah, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful, but again, leaning more on the mature side super, super niche smelling. This smells way more expensive than it is. It smells very, very niche. It smells like something niche that I've smelled before, like maybe a Maison Francis Kirkjian fragrance or something like that. It's I've smelled something just like it, but way more expensive. So anyways, that is Boucheron Quattro on Rose Floral. Really gorgeous. I think this decant will be plenty for me with this one though. I don't think I need a full bottle of that at all, um, but it is beautiful. 
Oh my gosh, that delicious cotton candy. Now that it's drying down, I am getting a kind of pink sugar vibes from it. It's still really beautiful. Okay, next I picked up Flower Bomb Nectar Intense or Flower Bomb Nectar EDP Intense from Victor and Rolf. I've been wanting to get my nose on this fragrance for so long, but I didn't want to buy a full bottle of it because it is quite expensive. Um, oh, it's gorgeous. It's... I'm definitely getting that gunpowder note in it. Um, it's something very different, but without being off-putting. There's definitely a honeyed quality to this. There's, I'm thinking orange blossom. I get, um, I can't remember which scandal it was that this kind of smells like, but it smells a little bit like one of the Jean-Paul Gaultier scandals. Um, I can't remember which one, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, um, like honeyed, sweet floral with this really interesting gunpowder note in it that is very subtle and not off-putting in any way. It's still a really beautiful kind of light sweet floral, but it's a syrupy light sweet floral. It's really gorgeous. Do I think I need a full bottle? Probably not. Um, I think this decant will be plenty for me, but oh man, is it beautiful. I'm really happy to have this finally. So anyways, that is uh, Flower Bomb Nectar EDP Intense. Uh, from Victor and Rolf. Okay, next we have Prada Candy Gloss. This is another fragrance that I have been wanting to smell for a couple of years now. Um, and because these fragrances just don't perform well, I haven't ever wanted to just purchase a full bottle, so I was happy that I could get a decant. The decant itself was kind of expensive. Even on sale, I wanna say it was like $18 or something. It was really expensive. But I thought, you know what? $18 is a lot better than forking out for a whole bottle that ends up not lasting long or me not liking it. So um, this one I do like. I don't think that there's anything wonderful about it. It's just okay. It smells like something else to me. And I also get kind of melony vibes from it. Um, I almost get like a, I don't think it has any kind of a melon in it, but I, it gives me kind of melon vibes, like cantaloupe, almost like cantaloupe, honestly, um, which isn't my favorite thing in the world. I'm not a huge fan of the way that melons smell, but it's not bad either. It's really, really light and refreshing smelling. Yeah, I'm going to have, this is one that I'm really going to have to test on my skin though, before I can make any kind of a, a you know, real judgment on because it's, yeah, it's just one I'm going to have to test on my skin. I do like it, though. It's just I don't know that it's worth whatever the full bottle price is. Um, so anyways, that is Prada Candy Gloss. Next, I picked up Narcissa Rodriguez Fleur Musk. This is an EDT formulation. Um, I am not the biggest fan of Narcissa Rodriguez fragrances. The only one that I've ever really, really liked is Noir, and that one's really, really hard to find, of course. Um, but I picked this one up because somebody said that somebody told me that this smells like Stella. So I was like, anytime somebody tells me something smells like Stella, I'm going to investigate it because I would love to find a, a fragrance that actually smells like Stella. Um, this is not it. <laughs> not even close. This does not smell anything like Stella. Um, I will have to test this on my skin, and because maybe on skin it's different, maybe on skin it does smell like more more like Stella. Um, this is, it's got like a pepperiness to it, so I'm guessing there's com some kind of a pepper note in the top. Yeah, it's light though, it's very light. 
um, it doesn't, I don't dislike it. It doesn't remind me of any of the other Narcissa Rodriguez fragrances that I've smelled. Um, it is a really beautiful, light, bright, airy rose fragrance, but I don't get Stella, not even a stitch of Stella. But I will test this on my skin. I will let you know. Really beautiful, light, bright, airy, slightly green, um, kind of peppery rose. Really, really beautiful. I am excited to test that one on my skin, but yeah, definitely not Stella, not at all. Okay, um, next we have got, okay, this is Guerlain Musk Noble. This is one of those this comes in the same bottle and is from the same line that Santal Royale is in. Um, I do not like this. It is, it's not, it doesn't have a strong metallic musk note in it, but it's got a slight metallic musk note in it that I just am not crazy about. So yeah, this was the only one that I really did not like, but you know, for being such an expensive Guerlain, this was not that bad. It was not too terribly expensive. I think the candy gloss cost more than this one did, which is crazy because this is a way more expensive fragrance. But anyways, yeah, it's, um, it's kind of woody, but it has that metallic musk in it. And anytime I even get a whiff of that metallic musk in anything, it's like a no-go for me. So yeah, this was immediately a no-go for me. So anyways, that is the Guerlain Musk Noble. Again, I will pop pictures up on the screen of all of these so you can see what the actual bottle looks like. Okay, three more of these to go. Okay, next we have La Vie Belle Eclat. Um, this is another one that I have really been wanting to smell for a long time. I almost, almost bit the bullet and bought a full bottle of this and I'm so glad I didn't. I have never met a La Via Belle that I want a full bottle of. Um, there, there's something about them that it, they're just too much for me. They're too sweet. They're too, they're cloying. They're all cloying to me. The only one that I can tolerate to wear every once in a while is the original, but every other one that I've smelled has just been too cloying and headache inducing and that this one is no different. This smells like something else to me too. It smells like another perfume, like just like another perfume. It's just too much. It's too fruity. It's too floral. It's too sweet. It's cloying. I just don't like it. So anyways, that is La Vie Abel um, Eclat EDP. So that and the Musk Noble are really the only two fail. They're, and they're not complete fails. It's They're they're really nice perfumes. They're just not for me. Um, so they're not really fails. They're just two fragrances that aren't my cup of tea. Um, so yeah, that is La Vie Abel Eclat. Okay, next is another one. I'm super excited I finally picked this up. This is Estee Lauder Moder Modern Muse Nui EDP. And um, I, this is another one that I've been wanting for a while. But Estee Lauder's can be a hit or miss for me, so I definitely wanted to test this one first. I was super excited when I saw this travel size. Um, it was not very expensive either. But yeah, this is really pretty. This is dark... I'm definitely getting patchouli. Um, it's kind of spiced. This is another one that it smells just like something else to me. I will definitely put on the screen when, if I can figure out what they remind me of um, while I'm editing, I will put it on the screen for you guys what I, what I, what I, oh my goodness, what I think it smells like. But yeah, this is beautiful. This is like dark winter super cozy, warm, slightly woody, very slightly sweet, patchouli, uh, almost a little bit incensey. It's beautiful. I really, really love this one. And I think this has been recommended to me a few times and um, I've always heard really good things about it. I've heard this is the best one in the Modern Muse line, the Nui, and I would agree. I really would. It's beautiful. I can't wait to give this one a good wear test. 
Again, as I test these, you'll, you'll see them in a What I Wore Last Week video. Okay, and then the last travel spray I picked up is um, from Hermes, and it is Un Jardin Sur la Lagune EDT. This is the only one that I don't think I have at all. Um, I have all of the other ones in this line in some form, whether it be like a little small sprayer of it or a big bottle of it. I've got, I've got them all. This is the only one I was missing and ugh, I love every single fragrance in this line, including this one. This is so good. I love this Hermes line. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This one is very, very unisex smelling. It's super, super clean. It's got a very slight sweetness to it. I will say though, out of the whole line, this is the most generic smelling one. This one smells like other things. Like it's, you know, I've smelled it before. It's not super unique, not like Sur La Toile, which is so unique. Um, with that rose and grass note. This is not unique like that one. This one's more, this has got something aquatic in it. It's fresh. I almost get some kind of like a, it's almost got like a mintiness to it, but without smelling like mint, if that makes any sense. More of like the coolness, the feeling of the coolness that you get from mint. I get with this. It's really, really pretty. Again, unisex, kind of aquatic, um, pretty generic smelling. There's nothing really special about this, but I love it. Do I think I need a full bottle of this one? No, I think this decant will be plenty. Um, I'm so happy to finally complete the entire collection. I have them all now though, and I'm very happy about that, but I will give that one a good full wear test. This is more of a summer fragrance though. Um, really the whole line is but yeah i'll still give it a good wear test and i will let you guys know so that is hermes un jardin sur la sur la lagoon oh my gosh you guys that britney spears festive or festival is amazing i'm telling you boy did i find a little gem in that it is so good and the longer it wears on my skin and the warmer it gets and the more that it starts to radiate, it's like all I can smell. Oh. I love the delicious cotton candy too. It's super tame. It's like a sophisticated, it's like a sophisticated pink sugar without the burnt note. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. I'm gonna leave the one big fail for the end. If you follow me on my other channel, you and you watched my last haul video over there, you are already gonna know how much I really did not like this fragrance and how much it was a huge fail for me. But before we talk about it, let's talk about the one um, that I picked up from Ulta during the Black Friday sale. Uh, Ulta had 40% off all Pacifica fragrances. Um, for Black Friday, so I picked up Island Vanilla. I have been through a bottle of this before years ago. I love this fragrance. This is a really beautiful, mm, it's a really beautiful, pretty unique vanilla. I almost can't smell anything because all I can smell is that Britney Spears fragrance. Oh gosh, it's so good. But yeah, this is a really beautiful, um, kind of unique vanilla that I really, really love and enjoy. I have been through a full bottle of this before. It was $13, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick it back up because I really enjoy this vanilla. It's easy breezy. It doesn't last very long. Um, you'll get a couple hours out of it. It's one of the better lasting fragrances that I found with Pacifica, but it's it's not the best, but it's not the worst. So you'll definitely get a, you know, a couple hours, maybe a few if you really overspray. It does last on clothing pretty well too though. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this fragrance. It's a good vanilla. And then let's talk about the fail, huge fail. This is Kayali Vanilla 28. Um, I knew in my gut that I was not gonna like this fragrance. That's why I held out for so long, even though it's a vanilla and vanillas are my favorite types of fragrances. I somehow knew that I was not going to enjoy this one. Um, I tried to hold out for as long as I could for the mini to come back in stock, but it has never come back in stock. So I finally just bit the bullet and bought the 
a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle because even for a 1.7 fluid ounce, it's not overly, these are not overly expensive. It was $85 for the big bottle, um, which I don't think is a bad price at all. This is Vanilla Orchid, Tonka Absolute, Brown Sugar, Amber Woods, and Musk. And I thought for sure with those notes, I was like, I just need to buy it because even though your gut's telling you you're not going to like it, those notes sound amazing and you, you're you going to love it. There's no way you can't. No, this is, I do not like this at all. The bottle is stunning. I love the bottle. I think it is so beautiful. Um, it's nice, heavy, thick glass. It's very pretty. I really like the lid. The lid is substantial feeling, but the fr I'm not even going to spray it because I am going to resell this. I've, it's only missing one spray, but I don't like this. This reminds me when I sprayed it on my skin, it smelled like Narcissa Rodriguez, EDT, the one in the black bottle, but if you just added a load of vanilla to it, that's exactly what this smells like. Um, it's too floral. It's too musky. It does have a ton of vanilla in it. Like it's got a ton of vanilla in it, but it's it's too floral and too musky for me to be able to enjoy the vanilla. Um, it smells to me like, yeah, it smells like Narcissa Rodriguez or Guerlain Ideal if you added a ton of vanilla to those fragrances. It is, it was such a huge fail for me. So yeah, this one's going straight up on Mercari. Um, yeah, that was a definite, that is one of the worst blind buy fails I've had in a long, long time. And this right here is why I am trying to stop buying so many full bottles because yeah, it's just been, this one was so disappointing for me. Um, let me know what you guys think about this though. Are you like me? Do you really dislike this one? Do you really love it? Um, I think part of the problem for me was that I had so many people comparing this to warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works, saying that this smelled like warm vanilla sugar. It doesn't smell anything like warm vanilla sugar, not at all. It's a musky floral, more than it is a vanilla, which was really the problem. So anyways, huge fail, but it is a gorgeous fragrance and it did last, the one spray that I put on my hand did last for hours. So um, I think it would be a good performing fragrance and um, it's beautifully made and it's in a beautiful bottle. It's just not my cup of tea. So anyways, that is Kayali Vanilla 28. That was a huge fail for me. So anyways, guys, that is my Fragrance Nut Black Friday haul. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.